This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Printing my work is something that I've been doing a lot more of recently, and quickly I'm realizing how special the process of printing an image is. Just having it in a physical form that you can hold in the real world is something that's really unique and special. And it's something that I don't think photographers nowadays do enough of because it truly is something special when you can just pull out a box of prints and look through your work in the real world as opposed to having to dig through folders on your hard drive. Now there are so many different ways that you can go about printing an image and I think arguably one of the most special ones that still exists today is making a handcrafted C print in the darkroom. Today we're gonna head over to my friends at Picture House, the small darkroom, and we're gonna be making some prints in the darkroom, as well as showing you that process and giving you some tips along the way. I really love printing for the mistakes that you make along the way. Um, a density or a color that you didn't expect when you first do a print, it, it, it opens up the possibilities. It, it helps you see things in a different way. Perhaps, perhaps in a way that you didn't really have when you first started printing the, uh, the picture. You can really print with feeling. I think that's, that's one of the, the great things about it is you can put a little bit of yourself into the, into the print. It also eliminates a lot of the problems that you can get from scanning a negative. When you scan a negative, it can get quite sort of like complicated, the, the push and the pull of the curves and the colors. Because the paper and the film are made for each other, they, 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 know, they know what they want to do. They know, they know how to be together. When I'm printing a photograph, it's more than just finding the right color or the right density or the right contrast. You have to look to see what areas you want to hold back, what areas you want to print in, and where, where do you want your eye to focus. Those are the things that are important to me about it. Too. This is the dark room. Typically, the lights would be off in here, but there's two color printing stations. One is specifically for printing the pictures and the other is where we're making the contact prints. So I'll show you what that looks like. So when you do make prints in the dark room, you're exposing light sensitive paper to the image of the negative. That's why it's dark in here. So this is what an enlarger looks like. So this is uh, how we make a contact sheet. I'm going to place this over here, obviously in the dark, move it down, fill the edges here, close the glass like that and then press the timer. Okay. So once you do expose the sheet of paper in the dark, obviously, you come over here. This is the intake part of the processing machine. So these are our first contact sheet tests. And I'm just gonna take them over here and have a look. Um, I think they're a little too dark and uh, to cyan, so I'm going to go back in the dark room and redo them. Okay, in about three or four minutes, they're going to come out of the dryer here, um, and we'll see. I think we'll be printing one from each contact sheet. It has nice colors. And then this one here, I do think this one will be better at a bigger size. So I'm using two enlargers for the two negatives. This one already has a 105 in and everything's set up and ready to go. So we're about to make two test prints. Everything is set up, we're ready to make our first test prints. So we've got our first two tests out. Um, I think this one is okay. It's a little red for me. Um, and I also think it's probably a bit light. 
Um, this, I think it's a little green. So I'm gonna put a little magenta in there. I think I'm actually ready to do a, a, full, a full print just to see where we're at. So I've just hit two more prints and uh, we're gonna wait and see what happens. I'll use this one. Okay, you're gonna just decide what to do with these things now. Um, I've got to fix my easel here. Um, and then I think I'm probably going to go a little lighter overall and I'm um, going to try to hold and open this area here. Not this, but just the shadows. And the same over here, I think we could see if there's any more detail in on this side. I think I'm fairly happy with the colour on that. Let's hold that back. So up here is our filter pack and um, I wanted to put some magenta in that print. So I'm at 45 in the filter pack at the moment. So I think I'm going to go down to 40, maybe 30, 38. I think I'm going to go 38. I'm going to use this, the dodger and my hands to block some of the light from the enlarger hitting the print. And that way I can, um, I can get more detail out of the blacks. So here we go, we're going to do some more printing. So this is what my five magenta's done, which personally, I think might have taken it a little bit too far, but I'm gonna ask you. We can see the blue coming through now as well, so we can also maybe think about putting a little yellow in compared to the other. There's definitely more detail over here, but it's too much. You can see the paper is actually starting to I have a milky black and that's not a that's not a nice nice thing so but I also think the grass here is a little too light so I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull back on what I did here it takes a good three or four attempts to get a really good print sometimes you're lucky and you get one you know straight away it really is a personal preference so yeah I'm gonna give it another go This is where I, I've ended up with this with this print. Uh, this one is the same, it's just a little darker. Um, but I think it's nice. I think it's nicer lighter. So this is my first print of the other shot that we just put in, which is the same house as this. I need a little more pulled back. Um, but I just think it's like it's pretty good for a first print. Um, uh, I love the colours in here. I managed to open up this area over here. Um, there's this beautiful glow from a street lamp, which I think has been really bought out. I, put, I got a little bit more detail out of the road, and I think you can actually almost see into the, to the sky here, which I think is a nice. So, so this is the other shot. Um, it's actually really nice. <laughs> So there are a couple dust and scratches on the actual print that need to be removed. And generally what you do with a darkroom print is you use special types of inks and a paintbrush to paint out the little imperfections. This truly takes the idea of painterly photography to a whole nother level. Once that's done, if you do want a digitized version, you can go ahead and scan in the print. It's actually pretty incredible once you do scan the print, how much you can enlarge the image. There's so much detail in a scanned print like this because you're scanning an 11 by 14 enlargement. So it really brings out all the textures of the film. House, the small dark room for having me and allowing me to film this process. I also want to thank Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks is an incredible online library of stock 4K footage that you can use for your next video project. 
When budgets are tight, it's really convenient to go to Storyblocks and get those last few clips that you might need to finish your project. I personally actually used a lot of these film simulations from Storyblocks, which I personally really enjoy using here on YouTube as well as in other freelance video projects that I've done. You can hit the link in my description to learn more about Storyblocks video. I'm personally a huge fan of their service, so I'm very thankful that they're willing to partner with me here on YouTube and sponsor these videos. Thank you, Storyblocks. I appreciate it. Make sure you follow Picture House, The Small Dark Room, as well as my Instagram in the description. We both would heavily appreciate it. Stay tuned for some more fun videos coming up very soon. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. That's it for now. Peace.